All right, another letter to answer here. This one, I can't tell. Some of these envelopes I should have saved, but we threw them out and whatever else. But it's RH is the name it's signed there. Um, uh, former viewer of the ministry and now back to viewing the ministry. Uh, a very interesting letter here. Um, to Mr. Brian Denlinger, my name is R. I also go by the name B O first and last, not body odor, you know, sorry, uh, on YouTube, it comes to mind, you know, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, I used to be a former member of your ministry years ago, but due to some issues that happened with Patreon and being doxxed, I quit listening or having anything to do with your videos. There were days I would watch at least three or four of your videos nonstop wanting to learn more, but it was also comforting hearing someone who was down to earth just holding a KJV Bible, quoting verses from memory, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. Over time, I must have watched at least 500 videos in the course of eight months. Your teachings on avoiding church buildings really helped open the Bible for me. I wanted to learn and read about more about God's church being about people and not buildings slash synagogues. I now believe gathering together online with other believers and meeting with other believers in, in people, or I guess he means in person, is where God's churches are not buildings themselves. The world is not inside a building, and my family disputes that with me even today, saying I am not a Christian. Yeah, you get you kick the church building thing, people get really riled. Um, Mark 16, verse 15, and John chapter 10, verses 37 through 38. At the time I started watching your videos, I was living with my disabled aunt in a tiny two-bedroom, run-down apartment on a low-income my brother had committed suicide, and I felt like I was gullible and deceived seeing how many other people were also leaving your online ministry. Yeah, you know, I got to just stop there for a minute. You know, the Bible talks about a root of bitterness springing up and many being defiled. And that thing happens. Every single time somebody leaves the ministry, they seek to draw away as many people as they can. And I hear from people, and they say, yeah, th this guy has been emailing me, and they're trying to pull me away, too. Yeah. Yeah. After about four or five months, you created videos about people who take, 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 and never give back to your ministry, which weighed heavy on my heart. I started to regularly donate to your ministry for months and was one of the people who asked for their money back after you created videos on things I greatly disagreed on, such as the Trinity, Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. Okay, about you know church discipline there, if I'm not mistaken. If you decide to quit reading this letter now and throw it away, I will understand because what I did was wrong and could have put your family's lives in jeopardy. A few weeks later, I saw your Patreon was deleted after Ed talked about it in one of his videos, and I believed what I had done was justified, which had should have been warning uh, signs that, there, that these are personal attacks on you. A brief period afterwards, I started listening to Edward Fenninger and some other YouTube creators for about a month who made daily devotions, spending hours of every day attacking not only you, but others. <laughs> yeah, that's the amazing thing about this, this whole deal. I'll get back to the letter here in a minute, but thank you for bringing that up. Um, these people, I mean, you can leave this ministry at any time. This is not a cult, okay? This is not some kind of a thing where people are supposed to call themselves Denlingerite. This is the standard, the Bible. Let me just get out of frame here. You know, you can still see my arm. I guess some people will think that that's the authority. Or no. The Bible is the authority. If you don't like what I preach, then leave. But for goodness sake, when you leave, read the Bible. Do Bible studies. Stop watching my videos. Simple. As I've said before, you know, you go into a grocery store and you try some new food that they're selling and you say, oh, that's awful. Why would you go outside and stand there and say every day, just, you know, eat, eat the same food and say, this is terrible. This is awful. Don't buy this. This is awful. You know what you're going to do? You're just going to create more people wanting to know why that thing is so awful and they're going to buy it. Um, so in a sense, I'm thankful for the Ed Fenningers and all these other little imps out there that just watch everything I do and just come out with videos because you're bringing so many more people to me. Okay, I don't purposefully go out and exploit this, all this attention that I get, but it's there, so thank you for it, you know? I mean, why not just, you, you enemies out there, 
just do videos on the Bible and stuff like that and the Lord can raise you up and replace me. These videos are not on the gospel itself, but from other things such as disagreements, disputings, the Trinity and Godhead, which yes, I do disagree. However, one video should have been more than enough to suffice and say their piece. I went through Ed's channel this morning and noticed a few months ago he posted a video on you and is still creating videos attacking everyone. Then he has James 4.11 here. Yeah, you know. I am sorry to continue on about this in great detail, but the truth is there came a point where I didn't want to be a part of any side anymore. It was then and there I decided to stop listening or watching anyone online and would only read the Bible to gain understanding. Good. Yeah, that's another thing. Okay, you, you hear bad things and whatever else about me or whatever. Just get out of the groups there. Get off your little Skypes, little secret chats and everything else. And just go spend some time, you and the Lord, all by yourself. And say, Lord, help me to sort this out. But the gossip fests are so much more fun, you know. And the controversy and all the drama and everything else, it's much more exciting. And you get drawn into that stuff and you just waste years and years and years and years of your life. Now, it just cracks me up. I see people and they'll say, I can't stand the, the, the sound of Denlinger's voice. I can't stand watching him. And then they watch the critiques of me. The past few weeks, God has been putting in my heart to again to research your videos. And I watched a few of your more recent videos and resubscribed to the channel. With, within minutes, I can see the videos are still informative and God has given more knowledge and wisdom. I have noticed the comment section is open again, although it's probably better to distance myself than state my opinions. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Feel free to use this letter for your videos and hopefully all the YouTube drama can one and for all come to an end. I hope it's, if nothing else, this could be, could open a door to stop the YouTube drama. Uh, probably not. I appreciate what you're saying, but there's always going to be lost people that get angered at me. There's a Bible verse that says, if you disagree with your brother to go to the left or and he to the right, but I can't remember it. Was it the Apostle Paul or maybe the story in the Old Testament who agreed to dwell in separate lands because of disputings? Yeah, it was Abraham and Lot, I think is what you're referring to. So, James chapter 3, verses 14 through 15. Again, I ask you and your family's forgiveness. I know this letter has been a long time coming, and it's such a relief to come clean after all this time, and I am hoping you will understand and forgive. I am wishing I had sent you a letter sooner or e emailed you back when you gave an email address, which I can't remember what it is. If you choose not to respond, hopefully I can, I, we can speak in the afterlife. Absolutely. And um, to, the, to the brother that sent this thing here, assuming you're a brother, I don't know again personally without talking to you, but I, I believe so. When, when somebody says, I was wrong, and lowers their pride and says, hey, forgive me. You're forgiven. Absolutely, you have my forgiveness. I'm not bitter at all towards you. Um, I'll forgive anybody at any time. I see true uh, repentance, true, you know, hey, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Absolutely, you're forgiven. Um, as I've said in many videos, okay, um, I am not worth your time if you disagree with me. Okay, life is too short. Get away from YouTube drama. You know, I, I'm in ministry. I'm a preacher. There's times that people come out and they say things about me and lie about me and I have to say something because I understand the little game, how it works. If I don't say anything, then they say I've won. He's too big of a coward. He can't answer, you know, and then they draw people away. If I say things, then they'll, they'll twist my words and tweak my words. I've dealt with this thing for so long now. Um, there are people that I, I can see when they're, when they're ready to leave. And they just, they just want to get clear of me and the, the conviction of the Holy Spirit that comes from my preaching to them. And they, they want that sin, whatever it is that I've kicked that offended them. They want that sin and they just have to find whatever they can. Let's bring up a video that Brian preached years ago that he deleted. Let's bring up this thing he said wrong or he wasn't real clear in this statement or whatever else. And you get your justification to leave me and then just condemn the thing I've preached as, well, that's Denlinger's doctrine or whatever else. Um, I don't care what he said. I don't care what proof he showed. And they leave. And when I get when I see that in somebody, I just throw up my hands and say, "Okay, you're gone. See ya." Um, I don't have time. I, I can't go through it. I used to do that. 
back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it just turns into this big drama thing. It hurts the cause of Jesus Christ and whatever. So um, thank you. Thank you very much for your letter. And uh, um, just uh, please do pray for us. And um, I guess that's it. Go on to the next letter.